Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's video, I'm gonna teach you two different installations that are crucial for home networking. The first one is wiring a network wall jack. And the second one is wiring a network cable. I have done videos on both these installs. However, these videos were quite long and I wanted to do a shorter video that combined both these installs. So hopefully this video will become a frame of reference when it comes to wiring a home network. So let's go ahead and start with the network wall jack. With both these installs, I'm using CAT6 cable. However, the wiring diagram for both installs can be used for CAT5e as well, or CAT7 or CAT8. So this end connects to the CAT6 wall jack. Next, unravel all the wires. After you unravel all the wires, it's time to place the wires into the wall jack slots. And this is how you do it. So the bottom left is white orange. Above that is orange. Make sure to use the punch down tool to push them all the way down. The next color above the orange is brown. And above that is white brown. Once again, use the punch down tool. The wires need to go all the way down. Okay, the left side is done. Time for the right side. The bottom right wire is green, and above that is green white. And next above that is blue white, then above that is blue. Now take the punch down tool and push all the wires down just one more time. And we're done. Next, trim off any excess wire. And now add the wire cover. Okay, looks good. We're ready to go. Next, insert the Cat6 wall jack into the wall plate. Okay, the second installation is wiring or terminating a network cable. So strip both ends of the wires back about a half an inch. Next, go ahead and separate the four pairs. Now go ahead and cut the string off. Next, untwist all four pairs. Next, organize the wires into the T568B configuration from left to right. Next, cut the wires straight across. By cutting this wire straight across, it makes it easier to insert into the RJ45 connector. I am using the easy RJ45 connector, as well as the easy crimping tool. If you are new to making these patch cables, I would recommend both of these. Okay, now that you've seen the two most important concepts in network cabling, make sure to share this video with anybody who's interested in network cabling or who may be struggling to wire their home network correctly. And once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive.